internet. So today I'm gonna do the celebrities tag, which is very exciting for two reasons. One, because I love talking about celebrities, and two, because I had a little celebrity run in the other day. I'll tell you about it at the end of the video. But I just thought when I saw this tag, I was like, this is perfect because blah, blah, blah. So if you're interested in finding out which celebrity I met the other day, well, I might even have like described it in the title so you might already know. But anyway, keep on watching. And also, this is like a fun tag. So just like, yeah. Okay, let's do it. If you could be one male and one female celebrity, who would you be? I think that I would want to be Jennifer Aniston because she's just sort of like America's sweetheart and like who doesn't want to be America's sweetheart, right? And then if I could be one male celebrity? Oh, probably Justin Timberlake because he's like really like a triple threat and Everybody loves him too. I just want to be loved. <laughs> no, but I mean it. He's a really good actor. He's hilarious on SNL. He's obviously a great singer, dancer, performer. So I mean, like, I think I'd want to be JT, even though I was totally a Backstreet Boys fan. If you could marry one celebrity, who would it be? Um, God, this is like really hard because I have a lot of celebrities that I think are like really, really hot, but I don't know if I'd want to be married to them, you know? Hmm. This is gonna sound really random, but probably Seth Meyers from SNL because he's so cute and he's really funny and he's just like, I just love him. Like he just seems like a fun, cool guy and I would wanna be married to him, which is a huge bummer because I think he just got married. If you could star in a movie, what genre would it be and who would be your co-star? Okay, obviously it would be a comedy, like probably a big like physical comedy or I would also want to be in like kind of like a cult favorite like teenage movie like Mean Girls or something but who would I want my co-star to be oh I don't know it would be like an absolute honor to like do a movie with like Tina Fey or Amy Poehler or Kristen Wiig any of those like really awesome female comics right now but I mean I'd take anything. <laughs> if you could live with a celebrity, who would it be? Um, Chelsea Handler, without a doubt. Like, I, she probably just has like a blast and like a party every night and she's super cool and it is my dream to be interviewed by her. So yeah, I would definitely wanna live with her. <laughs> what celebrity would you most like to party with? I feel like it's the same answer. I would definitely want to party with Chelsea Handler. <laughs> what celebrity do you think you're most similar to? Nine times out of ten if somebody tells them tells me that I remind them of a celebrity, it's Anne Hathaway. But like the early years. And I can see that, like Princess Diaries and Devil Wars Prada-ish. I can sort of see that. We're sort of similar. Um, but uh, I don't know. I, that's like the one I get most often. Okay, now, follow-up question. If you could punch one celebrity in the face, who would it be? Anne Hathaway. Like, she just, and I know I'm not alone in this. I know I'm not alone in this. She just got so annoying. Like, Princess Diaries, Double Wears Prada, those were fantastic movies like they were so good and then she just got so weird like I don't know and just annoying like I'm annoyed by her all the time which like I don't know so I would probably want to punch her in the face but then like probably I would feel terrible about it because she's probably really nice if you get to know her I would also want to slap Miley not like a punch more like a Get, get, get your shit together, girl. Not like a punch, just like kind of like a, a slap. Cause like a year ago, everybody wanted to be Miley Cyrus. She like looked great. She was like getting married to like the hottest young male celeb on the planet. 
and now she's like gone off the deep end. But I have faith. I think she'll rein it back in. That's just me. If you could get punched in the face by one celebrity, who would it be? Um, I feel like I'd want to get punched in the face by Taylor Swift because then she'd probably feel really bad about it and like maybe we'd become best friends after that. Maybe? If you could take a celebrity to a red carpet event, who would it be? Like I was going to a red carpet event and I'm inviting a celebrity who's not already invited. That's, no, well, I'm, let's just, let's just pretend they weren't invited. Um, hmm. Okay, obviously Jennifer Lawrence, because like, obviously. I really don't think I need to explain any further. If you could make a video with a celebrity, who would it be? Kristen Wiig. Obviously. What celebrity would you most like to go on vacation with and where? Well, it would definitely, or I would definitely want it to be somewhere cold because I really can't be in a bathing suit next to a celebrity. That would just be rough. Not good. Be ugly. Horrifying. Um, can I say like Anthony Bourdain? Is he enough of a celebrity? Cause like we would have a really great foodie trip and that's like probably what I would want to do. Cause I really like to eat like a lot. So I'd want to go to like Italy with him or something and just like eat the best food on the planet. That's what I would want to do. What celebrity would you like to see naked? Oh my god. Um, well, okay, this is going to sound really weird. Well, not really, but last night I had a dream that I was like getting it on with Adam Levine. So that was like decent, um, which is weird because like I don't even really, I mean, I like him, but I'm not, like, a huge fan or anything. So I feel like that's super random that I had a dream about him. But maybe not. Uh, who would I want to see naked? Um, huh. Chris Hemsworth. Liam Hemsworth. The Brothers Hemsworths. Yes, definitely them. What celebrity would you not like to see naked? Um, I f okay, I feel like the celebrities you don't want to see naked, you have seen naked, like in movies and stuff. Um, I feel like most of like the women celebrities that have like amazing bodies, I wouldn't want to see them naked because then I just feel like really horrible about myself. What celebrity would you take as your personal butler? Hmm. Kenneth the Page from 30 Rock. I'm sorry, I don't know your name. Oh, Jack McBrayer, I think is his name. I'd want him to be my personal butler. Oh my god, funny story, just real quick. Um, so one time I was going to Silver Cup Studios, which is where they film 30 Rock, but I was going for something else. And I was like, my dad was dropping me off because I was younger and I was signing in on the sheet or whatever. And I was like kind of like nervous for no reason. And apparently I like signed in and he, Jack McBrayer, was like standing right behind me and I didn't even notice and I like whipped my hair in his face and walked away. <laughs> this is my life. That is how embarrassing my life is. Like, yeah. What celebrity group would you want to be a part of? Um, some of the YouTubers right now, like Grace, Hannah, and Mamrie, I'd want to hang out with them, hands down. Like, they're celebrities. I think they are. I'd want to hang out with them. Yes. What celebrity's wardrobe would you steal? Um, I already used Jennifer Aniston, but can I say her again? Like, I feel like she just always looks like perfect for every occasion. And like, I know she gets a lot of flack for like playing it safe, but I just think she knows what works for her and she used, like, she always looks perfect. There's never like a red carpet event where anyone's like, oh, Jennifer Aniston doesn't look good. Like she always looks perfect. What celebrity wardrobe would you not steal? Um, maybe like Vanessa Hutchins. Like, I don't even consider her a celebrity. 
but I guess she kind of is. Like, she's just too boho. Like, too boho. Um, and obviously Miley. I mean, those aren't clothes. Whatever it is that she's wearing. Not clothes. Okay, what celebrity would you be most nervous to have lunch with? Um, like, any of them. I'm, like, an incredibly nervous person, so I would be nervous to have lunch with, like, anybody. I would be nervous to have lunch with the nine-year-old from that movie, Beasts of the Southern Wild. Um, but I think, like, I'd probably be most nervous to have lunch with, young, like, celebrities my age. I don't know why. Like... I would probably be like peeing down my leg if I was having lunch with Jennifer Lawrence or Taylor Swift or like anybody in that genre. But I mean also like Meryl Streep, I would just not even know what to do with myself. Or like, ugh, anybody from Grey's Anatomy, I would not know what to do with myself. Anybody from SNL. They make me nervous. I don't know. Okay, so now on to the best part of the video, my celebrity run-in. So the other day I went to see Mike Birbiglia, um, who is, side note, he's a comedian, but he's gonna be in The Fault in Our Stars, guys. Like, and I saw him live the other day. So like, that's like, that's like two degrees of separation between me and John Green. So that's freaking awesome but I'd be really nervous to have lunch with him um so I went to see Mike Birbiglia do stand-up at Upright Citizens Brigade which is in New York City and it's a pretty famous improv theater if you're in New York you should go see a show there they're like five dollars and they're awesome um but they're like pretty well known like people know about them and people go to them so it's not like super weird when a celebrity or like somebody kind of famous goes to one but like never in a million years did I think like that was gonna like happen on a time that I went or like whatever <sighs> so um I was running kind of late for the show because I had had a class so I was the last person into the theater and I took like the worst seat in the entire place <clears throat> which is like the <clears throat> the f oh my god the farthest back row all the way in the corner but there was like a, there were two seats free on either side of me and I'm like waiting for the show to start whatever and this guy comes up to me and he is like the handsomest guy I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, and then, in like an instant, I realized that it is Gabriel Macht or Harvey Specter from Suits. I will insert a picture. Uh, like, I love that show. I love him. He is actually number one on my list of like hottest male celebs. So, I pretty much died right there in my seat. Um, cause like, I'm really not a big fan girl, like, it's not really me, even though I'd be nervous to have lunch with celebrities, obviously, but like, I was like, literally like, tr but I think, I, I'm pretty sure I kept my face pretty like, solid, cause I didn't want to be like, weird, um, and he was like, is that seat taken? And I was like, no. And then he was like, is that seat taken? And I was like, no. And then probably like all too quickly for like you wouldn't have been this quick to say it to a random person. I was like, oh my, like do you want me to move over? Like sure, yeah, oh, I'll just move over. So I moved over a seat and then he sat next to me and I was like sweating, like shake, like I was just like I was doing weird things. You know when like you see someone that like you're kind of nervous around and you start doing things that you never do. I like weirdly like did this weird thing with my hair. I was like like pulled it all to one side. I don't know why. I literally don't know why I did that. I just felt like I needed to make like some sort of movement to ensure that I was in fact a human and not a robot. And I did that. And then probably for the best, um, the people that he was with came over and were like, oh, we have seats over there. And then he moved. But that was my brush with fame. And I'm going to leave you on that. See you in my next video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. And I will chit chat with y'all chickadees later. That was a really weird outro. See you next time. Oh my god. Ruining it. Okay guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.